again for chapter two, cells. So these are the learning objectives for this chapter. So by the end of the chapter, you are able to state the cell theories. And next, you are able to compare and contrast the structure of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. So we are going to look into the characteristic of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. All right, next, uh, describe the structure and function of organelles. So we are going to look into various type of uh, organelles. All right, next one, describe the structure, function, and distribution of specialized animal tissue. So example of an animal tissue that you are going to learn in this chapter are um, connective tissue, epithelial tissue, what else? Muscle tissue, nervous tissue. All right, and then the last one, describe the structure, the structure and functions and distribution of specialized uh, plant tissues. Example of plant tissue that you are going to learn is um, uh, vascular tissue, uh, what else? Uh, dermal tissue, and a few others, all right? So as introduction, so all organisms are made of cells, all right? So combination of many cells will later produce the tissues, and then combination of many tissues will later produce the organs, and then the various organs combine and then will form an organism. So the basic structural and functional units of every organism uh, is the cell, all right? So these are the basic features of all uh, cells. The first one is the plasma membrane. All right. So plasma membrane acts as a selective barrier for the body, for the cell, and then cytosol. So it's a semi-fluid and jelly-like substance. All right. And then uh, cells also have chromosome. So chromosome is the one that will carry the DNA or carry the genetic information of the cell, and then uh, ribosome. Uh, act as the protein factories of the cell. Okay, so next 2.1, cell theory. So there are two concepts of cell theory. Number one, so cells are the basic living units of organization and function in all organisms. And all, some, all cells come from the other cells. So that means uh, cells is formed by developing from other cells, right? Next one, so cells or organism can be divided into two, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. What do you mean by prokaryotes and eukaryotes? We are going to look into it in our next slide. So eukaryotes, uh, it can be divided into two, which are unicellular and multicellular. Unicellular, the word uni here, is referring to one type of cell, while multicellular here is referring to the organism that consists of more than one cell. So for multicellular, it can be divided into two, which are plant cells and also animal cells. Right? Okay, so there are two types of organism, which are prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So first, uh, let's look into prokaryotes. So the word pro uh, means before. Prokaryotes refer to nucleus, so that means prokaryotes do not have a nucleus. So, organism of dominance bacteria and archaea consists of prokaryotic cells. So, they are the single cell microorganism. So, these are the characteristics of prokaryotic cells. All right. So, if you look at this one, the prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus. However, they only have the nucleotide region. So, DNA is located in the unbound region called nuclei. All right, so all the organelles are not surrounded by membranes. So there are no membranes for their organelles. And then a cytoplasm surrounded by the plasma membrane. So if you look at this structure, so this is the structure of the free bay. All right, and then we have the nuclear region. We do not have the nuclear membrane. So this is where the bacterial chromosome is located. And then the dot structure, the like structure, this is the ribosome. And then this is uh, plasma membrane. And then the cell wall. And these are referring to the um, capsule like structure of the prokaryotes. And these are the flagella. All right. So this one is the same structure, just like this one. 
so this is the 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 diagram uh, that that is being observed under microscope okay next okay, next we move on to eukaryotes so the word u comes from means true eukaryotes means nucleus so eukaryotes is an organism that has true nucleus so dna can be found in the nucleus and it is surrounded by the nuclear membrane all right and the organelles also is surrounded by the membrane so cytoplasm in the region between the plasma membrane and the nucleus all right and they are generally much larger compared to prokaryotes around 10 to 100 micrometer so these are the examples of eukaryotes you can see here so this is the animal cells so this is the human cells from lining of the uterus and this is the plant cell cells from the duckweed and this is the fungal cell which is yeast and then this is the unicellular eukaryotes which is chlamydomonas all right okay now let's move on to the comparison between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells so when we we are talking about the word compare we are talking about the similarities and the differences so first uh, ribosome are present in both uh, prokaryotes and eukaryotes however the character is different so in prokaryotes ribosome is smaller and the, they are freely moved in the cytosome cytoplasm sorry while uh, ribosome in eukaryotes is slightly larger and some are freely moved in the cytoplasm but some are bounded to the er endoplasmic reticulum all right next prokaryote uh, cell division generally by binary fission which is a type of sexual reproduction while in eukaryotic cells cell division is through uh, mitosis which is in uh, somatic cells and also mysis that involve the gamete cells all right Next, prokaryote. The cell wall of prokaryote consists of peptidoglycan. Uh, however, for eukaryote, in plant and algae cell, they contain uh, cellulose, while fungi contain chitin. All right. So next one, for prokaryotes. All right. Uh, since uh, they do not have the mitochondria, they have mesosome. All right, which is which is uh, can be found in bacteria and plasma membrane in cyanobacteria. So these are the site for cellular respiration and to produce the ATP, all right? Since eukaryotes do not have mesosome, they have the mitochondria for the site for cellular uh, respiration and also for the ATP production. Okay, there is no chloroplast in the prokaryotes. However, in cyanobacteria, we have the photosynthetic lamella. And for eukaryote, eukaryotic cells, uh, chloroplasts are present in plant and also in algae. All right, next we move on to eukaryotes. So there are two categories of eukaryotes. The first one is unicellular eukaryotes, second one is multicellular eukaryotes. Okay, first we move on to unicellular eukaryotes. So these are the characteristic of unicellular eukaryotes. So unicellular eukaryotes is microscopic sorry, microscopic, that means they need to be observed under microscope. And then uh, example of um, unicellular eukaryotes is uh, protozoa. So protozoa is an example of protease, all right, some algae and also fungi. And then their nucleus and other organelles are surrounded by membrane. So this is one of the important characteristic of eukaryotes. So you can see, this is the example of uh, unicellular eukaryote, which is Chlamydomonas. Okay, next, we move on to the multicellular eukaryote, which are plant cells and animal cells. So this is the diagram of the plant cell. So here you can see the nucleus of the plant cell. So the middle of the nucleus is called the nucleolus, and then it is surrounded by um, nuclear envelope and then the like structure you can see that is the chromatin and then the nucleus are attached to the rough er and then to smooth er and then this are the this is the central vocal and then you can see the ribosome 
that is attached to the ER and also uh, freely move in the cytoplasm. And this is the Golgi apparatus. Uh, this is the mitochondria. And this is the parasitism. And then you can see the green organelles. This is called chloroplast. You can see the stack of tilakoid. And then uh, this is cytoskeleton, which is microfilaments and microtubules. And then the plant cells is covered with plasma membrane. And the brown color structure, this is the cell wall. Then you can see how the cell wall is being penetrated. They, they have like a hole or pits that, call, that is referred as plasmodesmata. So it penetrates uh, through the cell wall. All right. Next, we move on to the animal cell. All right. So these are the structure of animal cell. So they have nucleus, just like a plant cell. So this is the nucleolus and then trilite structure called chromatin. And then it is surrounded with the nuclear envelope. You can even see the nuclear pore. And then uh, this is the rough ER, and then this is the smooth ER, Golgi apparatus, and you can see how the ribosome is attached to the uh, ER, and then this is the mitochondria, and then this is the parasitism, this is the microvilli, all right, and then cytoskeleton consists of microfilaments, intermediate filaments, and microtubules, all right, and then we have flagellum. And then the centrosome. Here you can see how this centrosome is actually composed of two centrioles. All right. And then uh, this one is the uh, rough and smooth ER. Okay. All right. Next. Okay. Last part, we are going to look at the differences between animal and plant cell. So for animal cell, there is, uh, they do not have a cellular cell wall, but they only have a plasma membrane. However, plant cell, they have a cellular cell wall and also plasma membrane. So animal cells do not have the plasmodesmata and pits, while plant cell have the plasmodesmata and pit in their cell wall. All right, this plasmodesmata is actually function to exchange materials between the two cells. All right, so there is no chloroplast in animal cell, while chloroplast is present in plant cell for the photosynthesis process. All right, so animal cell have a small temporary vocal. All right, but plant cell have a large permanent central vocal that is filled with cell sap. So animal cells do not have a tonoplast, while plant cell have the tonoplast that uh, surround the vocal. All right, next, uh, animal cell, their nucleus are often central, and uh, the cytoplasm are throughout the cell, while in plant cell, nucleus and cytoplasm are usually peripheral. So in animal cells, they store their food in a form of uh, glycogen, in a glycogen granule, well, in plant cell, they store their food in a form of starch in the starch granule. So animal cells is smaller compared to the plant cell, while plant cell is definitely larger compared to animal cell. So in animal cells, some cells have cilia and flagella, as example in ciliated epithelium of the trachea, in oviductus of the female, and also in sperm. While in plant cell, they do not have cilia and flagella. All right, and then last one, uh, animal cells, uh, uh, they have the lysosome. However, in plant cell, lysosome are usually absent, except for insectivorous plant, the plant that consume uh, insect as their food. So that's the end of this part. Let's see the